This is a 1941 Lincoln Continental convertible, and today on Gassed Up, I'm going to show you guys around, and we'll take it for a quick drive. So, the 1941 Lincoln Continental. This is, for 1941, this is pre-World War II. This car has some very interesting design cues. Now, Edsel Ford went to Europe in the late 1930s and he came back and sketched up a car, took it to his designers and had them design it on a Ford chassis. And it's very modern looking for the time with the more inboard fenders that are extremely curvaceous and the lack of running boards and the low slung body on the chassis. Full fender skirts, kind of like a 1950s American car. This was the very tippy top of luxury in the 1940s. The front end is very handsome with uh, the V12 emblems, these really, these grills that they curve kind of inwards, they're almost concave. And the uh, turn signals and running lamps mounted atop the fender. Beautiful chrome bumpers. Handsome hood ornament. All the trim badges, just really nicely. And here we have the wooden interior. It's uh, more like a wooden like applique on the, the dash. I love the ashtray. It slides out, it's a cylinder and matches the clock on the other side of the speaker right there. Uh, AM radio and 41, this would be uh, a very expensive option. In 1941, this car cost almost $3,000 when the average price of an automobile was 800. So it was a very expensive car, sold to uh, important celebrities and diplomatic figures. This is the kind of car you'd expect to see FDR riding around in the back of a, a vehicle like this. Here we have the V12 engine and in 1941 this engine made 120 horsepower but power was not really the goal of this engine design. Uh, you're looking at one of the smoothest engines I've ever, it is the smoothest engine I've ever driven. Uh, just very buttery, smooth power, and it's torquey. This thing will pull really nicely in most of the gears. Pretty incredible. So you have six cylinders on each side. There's your canister oil filter. Two barrel Holley carburetor. Our dual trumpet horns. A wonderful piece of engineering. Another design feature I like are the push button doors. See the door will automatically open. Push button inside and out. And the seats fold up at an angle as I hit the, our dual trumpet horns. In 41 they only made 400 of these convertible Lincoln Continentals. So it's a very exclusive car. In the rear seat, we have cigarette lighter and ashtray. There's an ashtray on each side. In the rear, we have our spare tire in the Continental kit, this metal shroud that covers up the spare tire. Single exhaust pipe. It's not loud, just makes a nice smooth tone. Here we are with the 41 Lincoln up in the air, and you can see the underside of this vehicle now. Now we have a front transverse transverse leaf spring there from one side to the other, which was typical of Ford at this era. Now you can see here we have a sway bar link. This is our sway bar, pretty standard. Goes all the way across the other side, right through the engine bay. This link is actually connected to our shock absorber. This little cylinder here with this arm on it, that's our shock. 
So a little different design. We have a, a really strong heavy frame, perimeter frame, and it also has an X frame in the middle, which a few car, Ford cars of this era had. This being a Lincoln and a convertible is extra beefy. Uh, the body is a little unique. It is a full frame car, but you'll see here this mount, this is actually a body mount. It's all solid welded to the frame. And even, here's a little better example, I've got the wheel off. These welds on this fender, they're welded directly to the frame. So it's more of a uniframe than anything else. Here I've got the brakes apart. You'll see the tapered axle. Uh, this is just held on with a keyway. The axle will wobble, the bearing's built into the, the wheel hub. It requires a special puller to remove. This cylinder here, vacuum cylinder. This is for our two-speed rear axle for our overdrive. So when you pull overdrive knob, it'll actually select a higher gear in the two-speed Columbia rear end. Another transverse leaf spring. Better look at the shock absorber design. Radius arms going up to the differential of the drive shaft tube. It is an enclosed drive shaft. Our fender skirts with our little bolt to remove them. The paint and bodywork on this car is great. A really neat feature of the Lincoln V12 is there's actually no engine oil dipstick. So what's really convenient when you want to check your oil level, which is pretty common on antique cars, you have to every few fuel stops. There's a little plunger here, and this actually tells you, there's a little gauge, it tells you how much oil you have. All right, driving the 41 Lincoln Continental Convertible. And I just gotta say, the driving experience on this car is incredible. It's so tight and so sound, it's just such a phenomenally well-built vehicle. On the lower side of the dash here, there's an overdrive lever, and you pull that out, depress the clutch, and the engine locks into the another gear. On the two-speed rear axle, it selects another gear, and it just cruises right along. Speedometer needles bouncing a little bit, but what a lovely interior with this uh, wood grain dash and the kind of bronzish gold trim. Now here on our radio, we have an AM radio with six different presets, and down on the floor by my giant foot is a little button. When you press that button, it'll change your presets automatically. Just with the push of a button with your foot. We've got a nice handsome clock there. Interior is so well styled and it just drives so nice with that overdrive transmission. We've got push button door openers on the inside. It's so smooth and quiet. This is a car you truly feel like royalty when you're driving. I've never driven another car quite like this. It feels very incredible. Now hopefully on camera there's not a whole lot of wind noise with the top down. But when you're driving this, I'm driving along at 50 miles an hour. It is nearly silent besides a little wind noise. I don't know how they were able to make the convertible this quiet. The car has 74,000 miles on it and drives like a new car. It's really unbelievable. Hey guys, this has been a 41 Lincoln Continental Convertible. 
I hope you liked watching Gassed Up. Uh, we'll be doing more rides like this. Maybe you'll see this one again. I just thought I'd show you off this beautiful, beautiful ride. Thank you.